ABC 6 News is on your side right now. A man burst into flames after being tased. It's a story you saw first on ABC 6, and it happened in a parking lot in Lancaster. ABC 6 reporter Jake Wittenberg shows us how officers could have done some things differently. 31-year-old Daniel Wood received minor burn wounds to his chest. Lancaster police officers say Wood was holding an aerosol can in his hand at the time he was tased. Wood was inhaling the chemicals to get high. Dr. Richard Weinblatt, a certified trainer of tasers and director of the Central Ohio Technical College, says there may have been a better option for officers. Your option at that point is not to deploy the taser. But realize, of course, if you choose that route, you could have a higher level of injury for officers or for suspects. Weinblatt points out his training manual that includes a section including flammable materials. But Weinblatt says officers only have a split second when they're attacked. This individual apparently had already tackled the officers, uh, and they're, they're trying to control this person, minimizing the injury to him and minimizing the injury to themselves. The fire was quickly put out by officers. Lancaster police tell us the officers did the right thing because their lives were in danger. We're going to take an internal review, and the chief's still gathering all that evidence, and there might be some more in-depth interviews. Lancaster police officers were issued tasers only four days ago. Chief David Bailey says another review of taser training will likely come from this incident. Wood sits in jail, charged with assaulting a police officer and resisting arrest. In Lancaster, Jake Wittenberg, ABC6, on your side.